Hello, my name is Marcus Golden, and I will be talking about Zachman's framework for enterprise architecture. The framework has several phases, and each phase has a column entitled the what, the how, the where, or networking, the who, when, and why. Starting off with the scope, which is the first phase, the or the contextual phase, um, it's simply the list of things that are important to the business. Uh, the list of processes that the business performs or the transformation of inputs to outputs and also the list of locations that the enterprise operates a list of the organizations that the enterprise assigns responsibility of work the list of events to which the enterprise assigns and responds and also uh, the major business goals or objectives that the business has for its uh, critical success factors or whatever is significant to the business or the enterprise. Uh, then you have the business model or the conceptual model. It contains models of the actual business objects, a structured method style model expressing uh, the business's transformations and their inputs to outputs, identification of types of facilities at the nodes, actual enterprise allocation of responsibilities and specifications of work products. Uh, also, it has uh, initiated events and time lapse cycle models, the ends and means of the enterprise that constitute the motivation behind its operations and decisions. <laughs> Next is the system model or the logical model. And it will be represented as a fully attributed, keyed, normalized ER type model. Uh, it will reflect the intent of the semantic model. Uh, it will likely include the controls and mechanisms, also the inputs and outputs, outputs to the logical systems representation. A logical model of the system implementation of the business logistics system, specifications of the roles and responsibility, and the actual parties and products. It will also contain descriptions of the events that trigger transformations from one valid state to the next state. Next would be the uh, technology model or the physical model. And this one will contain a structure chart, uh, like an action diagram, a physical depiction of the technology environment of the enterprise, the physical expression of workflow, a control structure passing control from one processing module to another, and the rules that are found as cardinality and optionality in the data modules. And then finally, uh, the detailed presentation, which is the last phase, that's also known as out of context. And this contains the definitions of all the data objects that are specified by the physical model. And it will also include the data definition language needed for the implementation, uh, programs that derive from the action diagram, specific definition of the node addresses, and identification of the individuals that are accessing the system and actually it will specify what they were doing while they were accessing the, uh, the system. It also has definition of the interrupts and machine cycles <coughs> and rule specification. So that's uh, just a sum up of the Zachman's framework of the enterprise architecture and uh, thank you for listening. I'm Marcus Golden and thank you very much. Have a good night.